Hello and good afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to The Done Creative. For today's Pick a Card reading, we are going to be figuring out what blessings are coming your way. In addition to our Pick a Card message, we are today going to be doing some charms. Yes, yes, yes. For the first time on my channel, I am getting into some charm casting and I'm really excited to see how this goes. This is something I've been wanting to do for years and just never bit the bullet and did it until recently, so I'm super excited for this little addition to my channel. And if you're new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to try to center your energy, and focus in on piles number one with the faith angel, piles number two with the peace angel, and piles number three with the dream angel. If more than one pile calls out to you, there may be messages in each pile for you, or you can do what some people do and assign a different pile to a different area of life. And remember you guys, these are general readings, so only take the information that resonates for you and your situation or relationship or what have you, and leave the rest behind. So without delaying this any further, I'm gonna give you a moment to meditate on the cards and I will see you over at your reading. All right, group number one, or those of you who chose the beautiful faith angel, this is going to be your message. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and start right up here with our tarot cards. You guys have the strength card. The absolutely amazing blessing that's coming to you guys is you're going to be tapping into this source of inner strength. And this comes after a time of really having to tame that lion or really have to trudge through life figuring out what exactly am I meant to be doing, really trying to narrow that focus. So if you felt really stagnant or unfocused or unmotivated in any way recently, this is just your cue to know that that energy is on its way out and you are on to more motivation, more inner strength, more moving into the direction that will serve your highest good much better than where you have been recently. And with this Six of Swords, I always call this the internet card. And normally in the Rider Waite depiction, there is a boat with a woman and a child and a man ferrying the boat trying to move them away from where they once were. But in this depiction, we've got a man with the child on his back and he is climbing the stairs or climbing the ladder or the clouds here of swords. He is very determined in this card and this is that internet card as I was saying. So many of you may really have a stronghold somewhere on the internet or you're starting a new social media or a dating profile or a YouTube channel. There's something to do with social media where you're really taking control of your own life online or really going in a direction that's really going to serve you moving forward because you're moving away from that stagnant energy or whatever it was in your past recently that just wasn't serving you. You're moving in a direction that feels very intentional for you, something you have maybe even wanted to do for a long time and you're finally with this supportive energy of the strength, finally tapping into that energy and moving forward in the direction of your dreams. So that's absolutely beautiful, especially if you need the internet to conduct your business or to communicate with friends, whatever it is you're using the internet for, it's really gonna pay off for you in a big way. So then here we have the align your life card. What is not aligned needs to change. Absolutely, you guys have really tapped into that source of inner strength and it's really starting to exude in the outer. You are really moving in a new direction, allowing people or situations that just don't resonate with you to kind of fall away. And this doesn't feel like any kind of big tower moment where you're cutting people out of your life purposely. It's almost just as you shift and change your vibration, these people just kind of shift right out of your life, just kind of slowly passing by like a cloud. And of course, if these are people you want to keep in your life, you can absolutely do that. But if there are certain friends that are really draining your energy or a job, it just feels like it's going to naturally just kind of fade by or fade away and make room for something that will serve you better. Because what is not aligned, you are making those actual changes in your life. Having that motivation to make any kind of dietary changes or lifestyle or habit changes you have amazing support from your higher self at this time. And whatever house rules, or whatever house Leo rules in your chart, so say you're a Libra Ascendant, Leo would rule your 11th house, which would be your network circles, your wishes, your desires. 
that's going to be a house that's really going to be a key player for you. So find where Leo rules in your chart. If you have any planets, uh, sun, moon, rising especially, but any other planets or placements within Leo, just know that they are really aiding in that inner strength for you right now. You can check those planets, you can check the current transits of those planets, and really see how this is going to manifest in your life for additional homework if that's what you want to do. Then over here we have the Star Mother card. How can you mother yourself? Absolutely. With all this change that's going on in your life, and if you're watching this in 2021 at the time of my posting, 2021 is a universal year number five. These sub changes are supported by the universe at large at this time. So any big changes, any small changes, any change in between that you want to make, mother yourself through it. Don't force it because I see this, this man here is almost like the motherly energy of this child, you know, carrying him along. Because I'm really reading this as inner child. This man has his inner child on his back. He's mothering this inner child, bringing this inner child along for the ride because the inner child that is within each of us is a gift. We still have access to tap into that ultimate, endless, creative potential of that inner child we still have. Bring that inner child along for the ride. A, you will have more fun, and B, you will be way more creative in your endeavors, whatever they may be. But mother yourself, take care of yourself, nourish your body, fuel your body the right way to really support you because your body is the physical vessel of your soul in this incarnation. And the better you treat your body, the more your soul will respond and really open up a beautiful world to really align the changes that need to be made and should be made in your life. And you will have that support. It really feels beautiful. But nourishing and supporting your own physical vessel through these changes, that's going to be key. Mothering yourself as well. Then we have the love card. Universal six here. Universal love. I love that. That's that um, unconditional loving energy, that motherly number as well. So mothering yourself, healing things to do with your relationship with your mother may be key for many of you. Even if you feel you have a pretty decent relationship with your mother or your mother has passed away, whatever your scenario is, you still have access to that energy and to be able to heal any kind of disagreements you had had even as a teenager or just anything that's going on with the mother, motherly energy. And if you yourself are a mother, this is just you giving yourself a break or cutting yourself some slack for, you know, maybe something you had done that you weren't proud of as a mother, like a bright shining mother moment. Giving yourself that grace and love through it because remember that inner child of yours may be triggered at times when your children are acting out and they're kind of bumbling up against each other so that inner child may come out and need a little bit of nourishment from you the mother and as well as your children but then we have the peace card i am a being of love and i release all negative energy yes that is what you're doing with this align your life card you're releasing what is no longer in alignment and many of you are on that spiritual awakening path or that ascension path. So all of that old BS, all of that old resentment, guilt, shame, rage that we pack in that backpack full of bricks, like I like to call it, that can't come with us into the fifth dimension. That can't come with us where we're going. So we need to start healing and releasing that, which because this is a blessings coming into your life, you're really going to find the tools and the wherewithal to really dive in and do any kind of healing you need to do. So it's very beautiful and it's very supported. All right, guys, now for the super fun part. I'm so excited for this. Let's get into your charms. Okay, here we go. We've got four, and wow, a double message here. Look at this. Wow, this is so cool. I love this so much. So I'm reading this little thing here as a piece of candy. Even though I think that's rabbit ears, my first initial thought was, wow, that's a piece of candy. So life is sweet. That's what I just heard. There is going to be a sweetness and just an excitement and I just heard also kid in a candy store, so that's amazing. We've got two beautiful five petaled flowers here. That is really supporting these changes you're making. You're really blossoming and blooming into who it is you're, you are, what it is you're here to do. It feels very supportive and exciting, these changes. 
I mean, what did I say? 2021 is that universal year of change. You really are blooming into who it is you came here to be. And then with these little grapes here, that is just really enjoying that sweetness of life again. So it's almost like you have two double messages here. Absolutely awesome, absolutely cool. But also grapes to me remind me of refinement and abundance as well. So you really are bringing in a lot of abundance into your life and finally reaping the benefits or the rewards of the hard work that you have put in. So I think that's all I'm seeing for you guys, but I'm so glad that we got to add a couple of little charms for your reading. You will have to let me know below what you thought about the reading and the charms. I'm so excited for this, if you can't tell. <laughs> You will have to let me know below if it resonated and what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you right here back at the Dun Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number two, let's go ahead and find out what beautiful blessings are coming your way. All right, group number one, let's go ahead and start with your tarot cards. First and foremost, you guys have the universe, which is the world card. So when this card comes up, oh my goodness, you guys are going to be getting some much needed achievement, sense of fulfillment, or just feeling like, yes, I'm on top of the world, finally, it feels so good. Some of you may be reflecting on what it is you just came from or kind of doing a mini life review to see where it is you're headed, but you guys really do feel on cloud nine. You feel like things are finally looking up for you. And this might be much like group one after a nice long period of stagnation. But when the world card appears, it always reminds me of travel as well. So some of you, especially those who maybe had uh, travel plans canceled in 2020, if you're watching this at the time of my posting in 2021, there still are quite a few restrictions going on, but maybe this is just letting you know very, very soon in your area, you will be able to travel or get out more and just enjoy life a little better. And another blessing that you might get from this is just the fact that any loose ends that you've been working on, people you've been waiting to hear from to finish a project, those loose ends are weaving themselves together and tying off. So. That's great news for many of you who are, have, you have your hands in a lot of projects or you're waiting on other people to finish their part so you can finish your part kind of thing. It's coming. It's really gonna be happening soon for you. So any planning that you've done here in the recent past with the you know two of wands energy, just know with this three of wands, three of torches that you're finally putting your plan into action. Many of you, I do see somebody who had wanted to start a business or some sort of online presence, and this is very similar to group one as well, but you could kind of laid the foundation for your new endeavor and we're just really excited to get going on it. Well, now's the time coming up. You, the blessing coming to you is you're going to be able to start taking action in that direction and really seeing some of that payoff. Remember with the, the universe here, you pair that up, you're going to start seeing payoff for all that hard work you've done and all that planning that you've done but this could also be a card of travel so double travel cards here because in the normal rider weight depiction this person is looking out over the sea and I know if I remember correctly there might be a ship out there waiting for their ship to come in kind of vibes and your ship really is coming in that is what your beautiful blessing as your ship is coming in and maybe it's going to sail you away to greener pastures for a little while um, but you definitely will be feeling like even if you can't travel too far, you're going to be feeling this sense of freedom and expansion, very Jupiter energy as well. So then with this Get Grounded card here, it says empaths, highly sensitive and connect with nature. So many of you are getting grounded, not feeling so flighty or like all of your ideas just fly out of your head before you have a chance to ground them into reality that planning and that stage of kind of stasis or stagnancy that you had where you were really kind of coming up against yourself like what do i do next what do i do next any planning that you were able to do during that time is finally going to start taking traction and paying off for you but some self-care advice for you would be to get grounded um, if you are an empath which i'm sure most of you are if you selected this pile or just highly sensitive to other people's energy, other people's perfumes and toxins in the environment. If you're uh, the EMF frequencies, maybe you're really affected by that. 
a blessing coming to you is that you really are not going to be as affected by these things as you may have been in the past, especially if you are grounding yourself using grounding crystals, carrying them around in your pocket. Uh, grounding crystals could be uh, carnelian, black tourmaline, obsidian, shungite. Those are great grounding crystals, just a couple off the top of my head. Also, taking a sea salt bath, getting out in nature, preferably barefoot if you can, in the sand, in the ocean. I know when I'm filming this, it's winter where I'm at, so that doesn't sound like the best time, but you can still put your bare hands on a tree and really connect with the earth through that tree. The trees love connecting with you in that way and helping you connect to the earth during the winter months. Even though they are in their dormancy phase, they're still in there, they're still jiving and jamming and doing their thing. So connect to a tree today for maximum benefit, you guys, amazing. So then we have the protection card. Call back your power, cut the cords, and soul retrieval. And if you're watching this at the time of my posting, I will very soon be having my cord removal meditation out there for you guys to benefit from. So when it is live, I will go ahead back to this video and link it for you guys so you can benefit from that. But many of you are doing, as a result of this grounding, you're really seeing a blessing coming to you. You're seeing what's not working in your life and you're gonna be able to remove those cords, those energetic cords, remove certain people or situations from your life that just aren't serving you. Wow, you guys really do mirror group number one quite a bit. Um, but you guys really are getting back those fractal pieces of yourself, which is funny because let me find group one's card. Here we are. Uh, to me, this just really speaks to soul retrieval. To me, she's taking back all those fragments of herself and putting them back together. So you guys might have additional messages in group one if you haven't watched that one already. But if you did watch it, just this is just further confirmation that by choosing pile one and two, you really did maximize the blessings coming into your life. Absolutely amazing. But yes, you are calling back your power with this universe here. You're not going to just be thrown by the wayside or cast to the waves or let life happen to you. No, you're taking the life or your life by the reins and really moving forward in a direction that feels good to you. Then we have the number 14 here, moderation. So yes, like everything in life, if you're just going to be taking action, taking action, taking action and not getting grounded, taking care of yourself, you're going to burn out quick. So, especially with that fire energy, you may burn out really quickly if you're not grounding yourself, if you're not taking care of yourself. So make sure you balance all the different areas of life. If you're doing a lot of work, balance that out by doing a lot of play or taking some time just to be and not do. And with the number 14 here, that adds up to a five. So you guys really are implementing these changes into your life. And again, remember, don't try to implement too many things all at once because that makes it hard to sustain long term. So slowly implement these things so you don't burn out or get tired of it or it's just too hard because I know a lot of people will try to change all their habits all at once and then they burn out within a week, two weeks because it's just too much to, to, to sustain. So by changing one bad habit at a time or bringing on one good new habit at a time, that's really going to be more sustainable and uh, long term. It will serve you long term better. That's a blessing coming to you though, is you are getting this sense of moderation and balance in your life. So if you felt very out of balance, if you're a Libra rising like me and you just feel like all the balls that you've got in the air then juggling are about to just come crashing down, this is the blessing coming to you is that you will be able to balance your life a lot better than you have been. Then here we have the fear card. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yes, fear is just false evidence appearing real. So the blessing coming to you from this card is the fact that you will really start seeing through the fear, through the doubt, through the resentment, through the anger, through all those negative emotions that we associate with fear and start seeing the love of the situation. So for example, if you're in a toxic relationship and looking to get out, this doesn't mean taking what they do and trying to love them anyway. No, this is you seeing the writing on the wall, loving yourself enough to know and respect that you deserve better, and then starting to, you know, travel away from the toxic relationship. That's just one example. I see someone else in a toxic work environment, you know, that this job is not going to be healthy for you long term. So I don't say quit the job 
until you have something else lined out, but just really take care of yourself when you aren't at the job so that you can really fuel yourself to go back to the job until you don't have to go there anymore. Remember, don't just cut everything off and be done with it. This is a slow transition, but it's a stable and long lasting transition when you can really do something over the amount of weeks or months, a course of weeks or months. Um, but as of course, if this is something very toxic to you, remove yourself right away and then heal yourself as you pick up the pieces or as you go. Use your own discretion with this card, however it resonates for you. But many of you, this could just be you examining belief systems and realizing that you don't need to fear for the future. You can uh, infuse your life with this sense of love and it's really gonna pay off for you in a big, big way. All right, now for the last part of the reading. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I just love this part. Okay, here we go. What blessings are coming your way? We did get four with group one, but we've got three with you. Okay, so wow, when I see the cross, to me this represents religion, so maybe you really are examining your spiritual or religious beliefs and coming to some conclusions, you know, releasing some of the fear surrounding your religion or your spiritual practice, really working through your own shadow as well is what I'm seeing. And then with this turtle, this is just reminding me of what I was saying earlier about that slow and steady energy, not trying to change everything at once. I'm being reminded of that tortoise and the hare fable. The tortoise won that race over that fast hare, just keeping it slow and steady, doing just what you can in the day and not a whole lot more because you really want to make sure you're not burning yourself out and really taking that path of moderation. And also with this cat, I'm being remi reminded to have some independence. So some of you may be kind of going into hermit mode just a bit, especially with this protection here and you know protecting your energy, that um, blessing coming to you is you're protecting your energy from those frequencies, from different people, and just really immersing yourself in your own aura and not mixing as much with everybody else and what they've got going on. But as a result, you are going to find this sense of independence. So that's a huge blessing coming to many of you, especially if you feel very dependent on a spouse, a parent, um, other people just in general, or even that, that one example we had with that job, feeling very dependent on that employer, even though it's a very toxic work environment. Maybe some of you are gaining that independence through creating your own business or starting a new position somewhere else that's more supportive of you that gives you more independence and more say in what it is that you're doing. And to me, cats also represent protection because cats are very intuitive, very tapped in. There is that Lyran energy with cats. They come from higher realms and they're here to teach us a lot. So maybe you are um, wanting to get a new cat or a new pet or you're just giving your cat that you already have, if you have one, extra love and attention because they will, you will receive downloads through this cat, through petting the cat, connecting with the cat. The cat loves connecting with you, of course, on its own terms because most cats are very independent. Um, there are those cats so that are more like a lap dog, so whichever one you have, if you have any, but independence and this sense of protection, the blessing coming, you are being protected from negative events, negative people. So I think that's all I'm seeing for you, group two, but you will have to let me know below what you thought, if it resonated, if you like the charms addition to this. I'm not quite, I mean, this isn't going to be my permanent setup. I just wanted to try it out today. I, I have some cool stuff in my garage that I think would be better suited for the charm casting, but for now, we're gonna make this work. But you will have to let me know below what you thought about the reading and the charms. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you right here back at the Dun Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number one, or those of you who chose the beautiful dream angel, this is going to be the blessings coming to you soon. Let's go ahead and start right up here with the tarot cards. First and foremost, you guys have the Prince of Torches or Prince of Wands. So this Prince or Knight of Wands is one that is very inspired, very passionate about life. And this has been a theme through all three piles so far. 
where a lot of stagnant energy was going on. But that is about to change, my friends, for your blessing coming. You have energy, you have passion and drive and inspiration and just excited to take on what's going on. And pairing that up with the tower and the fact that we are in a universal year number five, 2021 adds up to a five with this tower. These are changes you've seen coming and that you're excited to make. These aren't changes that are gonna take you by surprise. No, you've been waiting for this. And look, he's looking over at the tower with his wand here, ready to charge into action on his cat there, ready to take action, ready to just kick some butt and take some names is really what I'm hearing. But these changes coming in, this is going to help you build a stable new foundation. So I mean, I'm also hearing, I'm. it's funny because they showed me my moon sign nakshatra, which is Purnavasu. And Purnavasu means return of the light. So a lot of times I have to do things more than once to really get them to take off. I can't just say, I'm going to do this and then do it and then it takes off and becomes a huge success. So take YouTube as an example. I once upon a time had a Sims channel, the, the game, The Sims, Sims channel, and I kind of got dejected and left there because there were a lot of pervs and creepos on my videos for some weird reason. It just did not work out for me on YouTube the first time around. And I was very, very nervous to come back. But as you can see, in less than two years time, I'm in a really good place on YouTube. I feel really good about my little place in the YouTube universe. So this might be similar where maybe once you had tried something and it just didn't work out, but you are going and charging in with that adventure, excitement, passion, inspiration to create something new and better than you tried to do before. And this time it will succeed because with this tower, what comes after the tower is the star. And you guys are bringing all this down to create a stable, solid new foundation. So this tower card feels very amazing and very supportive. And the universe, your guides, your angels are actually helping facilitate a very smooth tower moment for you. Especially those of you who already know the writing on the wall with certain things that need to change in your life. And if you can use your guides and angels as like a support team or a, a support system to really help you navigate these changes, you guys are going to be golden through the changes. Then here we're, we have the Lemuria card, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. And for many of you that selected this pile, this tower moment, you could take it even more as a collective energy. Yes, the writing is on the wall. I think I've said the writing's on the wall so many times throughout all three of these piles. Um, it just keeps popping into my head to say, so I'm going to say it. The writing's been on the wall for all the systems, the governments, all around the world, because the way things are set up, it's not to help people. It's a service to self system. It's not a service to other system. And going from third dimensional consciousness to fifth dimensional consciousness, we're going from service to self to service to others. And by helping others, we are helping ourselves and vice versa in the more fifth dimensional system which, you know, the third dimensional system kind of has to crash and burn in one way or another to get us there. But a blessing that's coming to you guys is you are creating your own heaven on earth through these transitions. Your personal life may look better than it's ever looked in the midst of all the chaos, all the tumultuous times going on out in the collective because you are creating your own new reality, your own new stable foundation. And it's amazing, it's happening. Of course, it's not always gonna be easy and roses and butterflies, but you have that determination and passion to push you through those harder, darker times to get you where you need to be. So what a blessing coming to you. I'm so excited about that for you guys, ah! Okay, then we have Anna. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that this was the card that this was. Oh wow, I'm excited. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, what was I saying, and divine plan. Yes, this is divinely orchestrated. And this tower that is going to fall or that is in the midst of falling in the collective and in our own personal lives, look at this. We're building not just one new tower, but two. Two pillars of white light here is what I'm seeing with these two new pillars or towers. And this just looks like such a beautiful landscape. Very, um, I see like some of the seven wonders of the world kind of going on up here. And we are all being divinely guided by our guides, angels, crossed over loved ones, higher selves, and source itself. We are so supported, so loved through these changes that we're making. But 
We all are laying in this group here, laying new foundations and trusting that divine plan. But of course, not just giving that blind faith away and daydreaming that life's gonna change. No, that's fine. But we also have to take action in the direction of that dream or our dreams to actually see those dreams come to fruition in this life. We have to ground them in reality by taking those actions. Okay, then we have the number 78 here, spiritual career. So many of you may be going in a more spiritual path, letting the old way of operating fall away and going into a supportive new career that's more spiritual. Some of you may be leave, leaving a job or, um, and I heard some of you, especially if you've already lost a job that just wasn't a fit anyway, but you just needed it for the money. If you had done, if you have left that job or lost that job, just know that there is a more supportive job on the way. And it may not be, again, a forever job, but it's going to bridge the gap to get you where you need to be. But some of you may be starting your own creative endeavor with this very creative Prince of Torches up here. Maybe creating your own business or just really going gung-ho in a business you already have established or whatever creative projects that you have or side hustles you have. You're so inspired and so determined to really make these things happen and that determination is really going to bring in a lot of abundance for you especially if there is a spiritual basis to what it is you're creating or whatever business you are involved in it feels very good very supported once again you add that 78 up it equals 15 and you add the one plus five it equals six universal love unconditional love motherly energy loving yourself and others through this transition because we're all feeling it with that tower the collective tower of 2020 and 2021 if you're watching this during the time of my posting in 2021 it's probably still a whole thing that feels like a continuation or part two of 2020 but we're gonna get through it we i know i have that faith that we're all going to get through this so then we have the blame card i accept responsibility for my well-being and yes Blaming others for not getting this or not getting that or not being able to, you know, have the freedoms you once had, that is putting yourself in victim mode. And that is the exact opposite of what this Prince of Torches represents. This is no victim. This is nobody's victim right here. So the blessing coming to you guys is if you were in kind of that victim mode or victim mentality that life is just happening to us, not for us, Believe me, friends, this is changing for you very soon if it's not already on and popping. I am so excited about this because when we give our power away, we're powerless and or, you know, we're never powerless, but we feel powerless. So take back all those fractals of yourself or your power that you've given to employers and lovers and friends and situations that just weren't serving you. Bring them all back home. Bring them all back to center reintegrate them in your life and come from that place of power that is what this here energy is and this here energy is saying creating your own heaven on earth not from that place of victimhood but from that place of power and you're doing it that is the blessing coming to you guys it's amazing all right so let's go ahead and find out what charms are meant for you what blessings are coming your way today and in the near future through the charm you guys got the most so far okay i love this i'm so excited so group number one also got a piece of candy or what i interpreted as a piece of candy you guys have a little candy cane here with a bow on it so this to me is rewards sweet abundance wrapped in a pretty bow and this isn't just some gift handed to you this is something that you are receiving as a result of your hard work or any labor or attention or energy you put into something. But some of you also may be receiving or winning some sort of award or receiving some sort of little gift or present. Maybe your birthday is coming up or someone was just thinking of you or someone was out shopping and saw something that reminded them of you and they got it for you just for fun. There was no hard work on your part invested. So that could just be a sweet little reward coming to you just as a thank you for doing all that you're here doing. It's beautiful. And then with this black cat here, we did get a similar cat. Um, he wasn't a black cat, but I interpreted that cat in group two as a protection. And I'm seeing this one as more of a pal. He's more of a cartoony looking cat. And I'm being reminded that you may have a really close friend 
that is very independent in and of themselves, but they're lending you or showing you ways to be more independent. And this independent um, prince here is really taking control of their life. They're taking back that victimhood and really gaining their independence from other people, situations, things that just aren't serving them anymore. They're taking the power back, so to speak. And this black cat is just reminding you that you are protected. Your guides, your angels are protecting you but your connection to cats or black cats at this time might be very beneficial to you. If you have a black cat, then you already have your talisman for ready for you, ready to take charge and ride that cat into the future of this tower moment here. But you could even just channel the energy of a black cat just by thinking about it. That will still benefit you. So then you have the cute little seahorse here, which they are very cool beings because it is the male seahorse that gives birth to the baby seahorses. And anytime that the seahorse comes up, it's a very intricate kind of symbol. It's not something you can just say, oh, this is what it means and there and that's that because they're very intricate and just full of surprises. So to me, I see this as a symbol of good luck or you know, even just a representation of the sea, but good luck. Blessing coming to you is your luck is about to turn for the better. Even if you feel you've had decent luck lately, this is gonna get even better, more amplified. It's like luck plus Jupiter. Jupiter does represent luck, but Jupiter's gonna be expanding your luck, you guys. So wherever Jupiter is currently transiting in your chart, look at that house and see really where this good luck is coming in. And also whatever houses Jupiter rules in your chart, if you are following Vedic astrology, I'm not sure if it's the same in Western, but Jupiter does rule over Pisces and Sagittarius. And also where your natal Jupiter is in your chart, that might give you additional guidance as to what this means for you, where the luck is coming in for you as a blessing. But the seahorse to me also is just a sign of strength and you really are having this sense of strength moving into whatever it is you're trying to overcome and accomplish in life. So when this flower came up in group one, they got this flower times two. I do have a lot of little duplicate charms in here, but I figured for now at least I'll leave them because if they come out double, that amplifies the energy, which group one really got that amplified. But I was seeing this five petaled flower as change and they had double change, but you also have double change because you also have the tower, which is all about change. So yes, very beautiful changes coming. Of course, they're not always gonna feel beautiful when you're going through the transition because transition is hard, change is hard, even when we're excited about it and ready for it, it can still be difficult. Things can still maybe not go off without a hitch, but you have a little bit more resistance or things that are going on, which I think we're all gonna be experiencing in 2021 and moving forward, but it's all for our highest good. We, remember, we are using the collapse of one thing to create a solid foundation for something new, creating that heaven on earth for ourselves. And you also have the key here. Um, I would say if the key and the lock came out together that you would have a very easy time just unlocking all of your abundance, which you do have a lot as blessings coming in, a lot of good luck and abundance coming, but there's still more to be unlocked, more hidden potential within you. And maybe you are tapping into that because a blessing coming to you with this key is, you're getting the key. Now you're going to be going on a quest to find the lock that this key fits within you. And this feels like an inner potential, a spiritual gift for many of you with this spiritual career card. This is a spiritual gift you are unlocking. And to me, this symbol in the middle is that Triskel symbol. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I, I never know what I'm pronouncing right or wrong. And I do apologize if I'm butchering anything. But if I remember correctly, that this has to do with cycles and progress and um, pairing that up with a tower, maybe even revolution, but this feels like quiet revolution. You're not out there protesting or anything like that. This is just a quiet revolution within your own life where you're taking action, pairing this and this and this it's like a trifecta. It's beautiful energy to support the changes you want. So those are the blessings I see coming for you guys. This is powerful stuff, you guys. This is no joke. So, wow. Use your power wisely. Bring your power back and take it and move forward. But much like group two, I am getting that sense of, um, they did have the moderation card in this position here. Uh, make sure you're not overdoing it or burning yourself out. 
take small action steps. Don't feel you have to conquer the world all in one go. This guy looks very determined, so I feel I have a feeling that might be you guys. So just, um, you may have a ways or a while where you're feeling very, very determined, but make sure you're taking time to rest in between that determination. But you guys got this. I love this for you, and I love you guys. You will have to let me know below what you thought of the reading and of the little charms. I think this is a fun addition. Just let me know what you think. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you right here back at the Den Creative. All right, bye.